Hi guys, this is my second video on changing the subject of a formula. In this video I'm going to show you some quite hard examples. I'm going to try and take it slightly more slowly than I did with that first video. Um, if you're not 100% confident on changing the subject of a formula, please go back to the other video and just really make sure that you build your confidence on those because otherwise this might drown you a little bit. So please, please, please make sure that you are confident with changing the subject of a formula before having a go at these ones. So just as my previous ex examples in my other video, um, I'm just going to leave the letter that I would like to make the subject um, just in a circle above the formula um, rather than me writing out, right, make X the subject of the formula. So um, I'm going to make X the subject of this formula and the formula is two brackets X plus one is equal to P brackets five minus two X. So obviously here I have got brackets. I want to expand the brackets first of all. So I get 2x plus 2 is equal to 5p minus 2px. I want to make x the subject, so I want to aim to get all of the x's onto the same side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 2px to both sides. So this is going to leave me with 2x plus 2px plus 2 is equal to 5p. Now, I have got x's here, and that's fine, but I've also got this random 2. I want to get rid of that random 2 before I go any further, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. I get 2x plus 2px is equal to 5p minus 2. Now, because I'm making x the subject, I'm going to factorise this and I'm going to pull out x because it's a common factor in both of these terms. I know I have also got the factor of 2 here, but I'm not going to pull that out because remember, I just want to make x a subject. So when I factorise this, I'm left with 2 plus 2p. That's equal to 5p minus 2. So just to get this, I've factorised out the x, which is what I want to make my subject. I now want to get this away from the x. So to do that, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 plus 2p. which leaves me with x is equal to 5p minus 2 all over 2 plus 2p. And as you can see, that is a lot more difficult than those examples in my first video. So if that has scared you a little bit, please go back and give the other ones a go. Make sure you're really confident with those. Other than that, I'm going to continue with my next five examples for you. So for this one, I'm going to make A the subject, um, and I'm going to make that the subject of the formula 3y equals 6ad all over d minus a. So first of all, I'm going to multiply both sides by my denominator. So multiply by d minus a on both sides which leaves me with 3yd minus a equals 6ad. I'm then going to expand these brackets, so I get 3dy minus 3ay equals 6ad. Here, I've just written it in alphabetical order. Now what I'm going to do is I need to make a the subject, remember, and therefore I need to get all my a's onto the same side. So I'm going to add 3ay to both sides. So I'm left on this side with 3dy is equal to 6ad plus 3ay. I want to make a the subject, so I'm going to factorise out the a 
from both of these terms. So A open brackets, um, so 3dy equals A open brackets 6d plus 3y. And then just to make A the subject, I'm going to divide both sides by 6d plus 3y. Therefore, I get 3dy all over 6d plus 3y is equal to a. And finally, just to write it round with a on the left-hand side, a equals 3dy all over 6d plus 3y. Next one, I'm making f the subject. The formula is z equals a squared plus f all over a plus f. First thing I'm going to do is multiply by the whole of the denominator here, a plus f, remembering to keep it in brackets. So I get z a plus f is equal to a squared plus f. Expand out my brackets here. So AZ plus FZ equals A squared plus F. I want to get all the F's onto one side. So I'm going to add, no, I'm not, I'm going to subtract F from both sides. So subtract F and subtract F. So I'm left with AZ plus FZ minus F equals A squared. I'm then going to get rid of the AZ because that's got no F's in it. So minus AZ from both sides. I get FZ minus F equals A squared minus AZ. Now, because I've got F in both terms, I'm going to factorise out that F again, like I did in my first example. So pulling out that factor of F, I'm left with z minus 1 equals a squared minus az. And then to get my f as my subject, I'm going to divide by the whole bracket of z minus 1 on both sides. So I get f is equal to a squared minus az all over z minus 1. And there we go. I've made F the subject of my formula that I originally started with. Second to last one. X is what I want to make the subject this time. Um, oh no, I've got three left, sorry. Um, but this one, X is the subject that I want to make. So G is equal to 7 plus 3MX all over 5x minus 11. Again, I'm going to multiply by my denominator, 5x minus 11. And that gives me g brackets 5x minus 11 is equal to 7 plus 3mx. Expand my brackets, so I get um, 5gx minus 11g is equal to 7 plus 3mx. Get my x's all onto one side, so I'm going to subtract 3mx from both sides, which leaves me with 5gx minus 3mx minus 11g equals 7, and then get rid of the minus 11g because that's got no x's in it. So I'm going to add 11g to both sides. So I'm left with 5gx minus 3mx is equal to 7 plus 11g. Again, I've got x's in both of these terms, so I'm going to factorise out the x because I want to make the x the subject. So when I factorise x out here, I get 5g. When I factorise the x out here, I get minus 3m. 
close my brackets and that's equal to 7 plus 11g and then I just need to divide by that whole bracket there x is equal to 7 plus 11g all over 5g minus 3m h is what I want to make the subject this time for the formula h over h plus c equals m over p wow okay the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by this denominator so I'm going to multiply by h plus c on both sides so that is going to leave me with h equals m over p multiplied by h plus c now you're probably thinking great that's it done sadly I have not made h the subject because I have still got h on both sides so I need to do a little bit more to make h the subject because h is on both sides here it's not the subject at the moment so what I now need to do is I need to get rid of this denominator of p so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by p so I'm going to end up with hp is equal to m brackets h plus c I think you know what I'm going to do next I'm going to expand these brackets so hp equals mh plus mc I want to rearrange to make all of my h's on the same side so I'm going to subtract mh from both sides so I get hp minus mh is equal to mc h is in both of these terms so I can factorise it h open brackets p minus m is equal to mc and now I just divide by that bracket once I've got that bracket once I've factorised all I need to do is to just divide it and the letter I factorised out which should be the letter that you want to make the subject is then equal to whatever you had on this side over your bracket p minus m there we go one more example for you and that is probably one of the trickiest ones that I have come across so I've got 1 over a is equal to 1 over b plus 1 over c I want to make B the subject. First of all, I'm going to sort out the denominators and I'm going to try and get the um, numerate the, the denominators sort of making it not look so ugly, let's say. So I'm going to multiply everything by um, I should have done that in pink really. Multiply everything by a. If I multiply everything by A, I'm left with 1 here because 1 over A multiplied by A is going to leave me just with my numerator of 1. It's going to equal 1 over B multiplied by A is going to be A over B plus A over C. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by B. What that's going to leave me with is B is equal to A because this B as the denominator is cancelled out. That's the whole point of multiplying by B plus AB all over C. Okay, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to rearrange to make all my B's on one side. So now I'm going to subtract AB over C 
from both sides. So I'm going to have B minus AB over C is equal to A. I'm going to factorise now. I've made this very, very ugly. I think I'm going to start this again. I do apologise. I'm going to start this again. I'm going to say, just rewrite the question out again. 1 over A equals 1 over B plus 1 over C. I'm still going to multiply everything by A as I did at the beginning. So I get 1 is equal to A over B plus A over C. I'm then going to still multiply everything by B. So I'm going to get B is equal to A plus AB over C. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to multiply everything by C just to get rid of all these ugly fractions. So I get BC equals AC plus AB. And now I'm going to rearrange it and I'm going to subtract the AB from both sides so that I've got all the B terms together. Sorry for that guys, I'm just it was just starting to get a bit ugly. You can still do it with um, how I had done it before, but this was going to get really messy with this fraction here. So I just wanted to start again, sorry about that. So as I was saying, I've got BC here and I'm going to subtract the AB, which is equal to AC. I've now got all the terms that involve B in. I can factorise out the B, so I get C minus A equals AC. And then I can just divide by C minus A. Whoops, goodness. C minus A on both sides. So B is equal to AC all over C minus A. Again, I'm really sorry for, for that confusion and that mess up. But I just thought rather than going a bit crazy with that fraction in that one, it would be better to start again. So hopefully... Um, you are happier with those slightly harder examples um, and some of these are going up to sort of grade seven maybe some grade eights in there so they are hard you will need to persevere with them and um, you will get there i promise you you will get there it will be a lot of practice but you will get there have a lovely day